Okay, so before we get started on the video today, I just want to quickly bring up this chart, which is the watch time from subscribers for the past month. As you can see, over three quarters of it from people that aren't subscribed. That means that over three quarters of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. Even if you think you are, you might want to double check because occasionally YouTube unsubscribes you for literally no reason. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed. If you aren't subscribed, you should be because apparently only one in four of you actually are. That's a little small, it's a little nutty. All of you subscribed, I would be over 5,000 subscribers. That's a little crazy. So, you know, double check you are. And if you aren't, make sure you are. And let's get into the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I am Purple Off Gaming here and today I am playing some more Balloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. As you can see by the title and thumbnail and stuff, today's challenge is the Rainbow Challenge. I don't know if it, that's exactly what I call it. I'm not super settled on the name Rainbow Challenge, so it might not be quite that, but something similar to that. Basically, it's not like the blue and red where we were like only using characters of that color, because otherwise well, it's rainbow. It, you, even if you settled on one per color, that's seven characters. It would have been... Yeah, we're not doing that. Instead, it's sort of an idea I had a couple months ago, I think. I don't really remember why I never did it, but I didn't. So we're doing it now. Basically, I pick a character. I'm gonna use Sai, because Sai's my favorite character, probably. And also, in my opinion, one of, if not the best characters in this game. She's a really good character. There's a lot of unique abilities. And basically the idea is, you're allowed to use one item from each category. So for the weapon, I'll use the legendary stakes, which is I guess like a light blue. And then you're allowed one epic, which in this case I'm going to use for Shy Shadow's Mask. One super rare, because Shy Shadow's Mask basically gives a clone. Even if it's only like half the time, it's still super good. Super rare, I'm going to go Rogue Monkey Visor to give lead pop power. Not super necessary since we won't be going up against CTs, but still a good idea since we're only playing on extreme mode, because it's one tower. Uh, then for the rare, obviously another one of her, uh, well, one of her sort of requirements, we have the Dagger to Chill Dice. Speed plus 10%, plus 1 damage to Frozen Balloons, and the fr Fujitsu upgrade. I still have a hard time saying that upgrade name. For whatever reason, pretty useful. And then we pick one uncommon, one common, and that's what we get to use. One of each category. I think it's a kind of cool challenge. I might try this again with a different character if you guys like this. Let me know if you want to see me try this with someone else. If not, that's cool. I'm doing it for side today. I might do it for someone else later. I'm a little bit undecided. I think for uncommon... Hmm. How... Is this the speed ring? It's not. So I could go for the speed ring. Or what I think I'm going to go for is the poison ring. The ring of poison. Because this adds in one poison damage per second for three seconds. So it basically adds plus three damage. Or at the very least one damage per second. Which is pretty solid. So I'm going to go with that as the uncommon to add quite a bit of damage. And in terms of common... I'm probably going to go for the uh, Paper Plate Mask for the extra 1 damage against Mode Class Balloons because it's super useful. So yeah, this is our loadout. We have 5 trinkets and 1 weapon. That's how the loadout works. You can definitely do this with any character. I'm just choosing Sai because I think Sai is the best chance of actually winning this. And since we're doing it on Rainbow, we're doing it on the rainbowest map I can find. Uh, make out point. You know, it's where Jake and, um, Jake and Lady Rainicorn are having their date, I guess. I thought that was their picnic. I, this is their third date, I guess. Because this is all their, like, story or whatever of how they're getting together and whatever. It's not that important. What's important is that it's a very, very colorful map with lots of colors and a cool cloud tree. So, this is what we're using. I kind of love the map. It looks really cool. Um, but we're going to be using Sire, obviously. In terms of placement, I think probably, like, right there is actually a really good spot. Because uh, you get quite a big loop. Uh, I mean, I could also go over here for the overlap, but I don't think that's gonna be better. Is it gonna be better? Uh, I'm restarting. I think I prefer that spot. I can always change my mind later, but is this better? I feel like this probably is, because this is where you get to see both sides. So yeah, we're gonna be using Psy. Nothing too special here. We're just seeing how well these trinkets work out with only Rainbow. How well can Psy do? Lots of restrictions. Why is auto start turn off? It's because I think I keep turning it off with bad balloon. Whenever the bad balloon comes, for in 75 or whatever, I keep turning off auto start and I forget to turn it back on afterwards. And it's bothering me, but whatever. It's not that important, I guess. But yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to win. I'm not really sure. Uh, I mean, we have a lot of her specialty trinkets. So she can pop all balloon types. She has her shadow uh, mask, I guess. So she has her shadow clone. Uh, she's the ice upgrade. But in terms of actual damage, that's entirely relying on her on her weapon. Which is a lot of bonus damage, but I'm still not sure if it's going to be enough. Hopefully the weapon will be enough to basically hard carry. So, yeah. 
Um, obviously, technically, we could have just gone for another epic weapon. If you don't have legendaries, you can just do this challenge either A, without them, and have one less... Well, I guess one less trinket, non-epic trinket. Or you could go for, um, just doing an epic weapon as well. Or no weapon, even. That could make it even harder if you want to do it with different modes. Variations of the challenge you could try. But yeah. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. If you are, that's awesome. Maybe, maybe consider giving the video a like if you're enjoying it. And, uh, you know, you can subscribe if you're new here or if you haven't yet, really, because you don't have to be new here. It can just be, like, your third, fourth video and you're like, you know what, I've decided it's time to subscribe. So feel free to do that as well. It's always awesome. Always very appreciated. But, yeah, I kind of like this map. I want to take a minute to just appreciate the map. It's very colorful clouds. We're in, like, the Lumpy Space area, I think. Like, with Lumpy Space Princess and all of those weird, like, clouds in space. I'm pretty sure this place is some really weird things going on. Like, I kind of love the background. Obviously, it's purple. It's kind of cool, like the strokes and whatever. But I think it's pretty cool. Just like you're standing on a weird, like, cloud. Fluffy clouds. And even the trees kind of look like they're made of clouds. Or broccoli. But I mean, that's why people call broccoli trees. So yeah, I guess trees look like broccoli. Broccoli looks like trees. It's the way it works. If one thing looks like the other, then it must be true the other way around as well. But yeah, gotta keep upgrading side here, can't forget. Fujitsu, pretty useful. Yeah, so obviously the early rounds, once again, will be a pretty big joke, so we just gotta just ignore them for now and just appreciate the map and all this wonderful things. Uh, because yeah, these earlier rounds, they're a joke, honestly. If you're struggling with the earlier rounds, then you're probably an early game. And if you're not, if you're doing extreme mode and you're struggling with the earlier rounds, you should not be doing extreme mode, you are underprepared for sure. Because uh, realistically, you should not be struggling with early rounds. I guess debatably, the only time you should be is if you're, like, greeting a ton, trying to go for lots of money-making. Then it's okay to struggle on their easier rounds. But normally, it's never okay. You ha only if you're, like, super-duper struggling. That's the only time it's okay. Or super-duper greeting, rather. That's the only time it's okay to be struggling. Because, I mean, yeah, if you struggle early game and end up with, like, 20 Cobras on the field... You're gonna make a lot of money. It's gonna end up pretty well for you. So I'd say that's worth it. But yeah. Um, yeah. So today, obviously, we're just messing around with Sai and the random trinket build. Let me know if you have any other video ideas in the description or comments or whatever. Not description. In comments. Leave a comment. If you have any video ideas, builds, challenges, all that stuff. I do appreciate it. Uh, before you suggest it, though, you can suggest it anyways. Obviously, you don't have to double check, but... If you want to just take a look to see, hey, have I already done that challenge? Because I've done a lot of Loon's Adventure Time Tower Defense videos, and I've done a lot of challenges, and a lot of them I've already done. Doesn't mean I won't redo them, I redo a lot of challenges as I get more trinkets, more weapons, more characters, more allies, all that stuff. As I progress in this game and get a little bit better, uh, I do redo some challenges from time to time if I feel I've done a bad job. Uh, but yeah, feel free to double check. Doesn't mean I won't redo them again if you're like, oh, well, this was a really old video, and you're a lot worse in this video, then, yeah, I might redo it, so feel free to let me know, though. I'm thinking of doing some more trinket builds. Obviously, this is more random, but, like, back when I did the Elemental Tower Challenge, I'm thinking of doing more trinket builds kind of like that, so let me know if you're interested in that idea. So, doing, like, oh, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I guess, like, uh, theme build, so, like, lots of weapons, so just, like, a weapon smith or something, so we pick someone like Finn or Dungeon Finn, and give him only trinkets that have, like, weapons in them. So Thief's Dagger and that stuff. Uh, Tree Trunks Cutlass. All of those type of things. Stuff like that. I'm thinking of doing challenge ideas like that. Where we do, like, a specific trinket loadout. To try to match a certain character. Like, design, essentially. I think that would be pretty cool. But let me know if that sounds interesting to you guys. We are, like, speed running through this. We have max character with Psy right there. Um, but we're already on round 40. This is taking no time at all. If we do do really well, then I guess we're fine. The only thing is, we're not doing that great. We're gonna get our first look at a Moab this round and see how well that goes. Okay, the Moab died pretty fast. That's a good sign. A little scared for the ZMG, but I have to keep in mind I'm gonna have some extra money, so I'll be able to sell and rebuy Psy, uh, probably closer to the end of the track, which I'm probably gonna have to do, because if Moabs, I mean, we're doing good against them. BFBs will be a better judge to see, hey, uh, am I in trouble? Hopefully, we'll at least be able to beat BFBs without selling. Uh, if we can beat BFBs without selling, that the only issue will be the ZMG, uh, which I can sell and we buy once or twice, and that should be enough. The only issue is there's a bit of a delay when buying upgrades in this game. You have to, like, wait a couple seconds here. I can show it. 
if I'm trying to spam upgrade Psy, or uh, not Psy, Max, you can see there's a fair bit of delay between upgrades, between buying them. But like, from when you press the button to actually buying them, there's a bit of a delay as the upgrades move up and all that stuff. So, it is a little slow to upgrade characters in this game. No hotkeys. I guess if you're playing on a computer, you might, but it still might be slow because there does seem to be some sort of built-in upgrade delay. I guess so you can't just keep buying and these or selling and rebuying characters. I guess so. I don't know. It's kind of random. Okay, more mobs here. The BFB is almost here coming in two rounds. I do find it a little funny. Mobs come around 42. BFB is 52. ZMG 60. So, like, all three of those are so close together. And then add another 15 rounds for the bad balloon. Like, okay. 42 rounds in. That's when the mob comes. Then wait 10. Then wait 8. So, it's like, less and less time. Less and less of a gap between the big balloon sends. And then, like, let's just make the longest gap we've had yet and do a 15 round gap. Okay, so it's 53 for the BFB, okay. BFB challenge, how well do you do? We demolished that. It didn't even make it to the second loop. I think we're fine for this, honestly. We might have to sell once for the ZMG, but we're looking pretty good. Because that's with no abilities. I can quadruple my damage if I make the balloon move at half speed and create a uh, shadow clone. So I'll have four times the DPS. That's a really, really big deal. So that's kind of crazy. So I'm just noticing this is going to be a very short video because we are just demolishing through these rounds. It's not taking any time at all. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Once again, though, I'm going to give one more reminder. Let me know if there's any types of videos you're more interested in seeing. If you like the idea of doing more trinket builds like that with random restrictions on the trinkets, rather than it being more of a challenge like, oh, tech tarot or like machines or whatever, it can be more like only blank blank trinkets, only like trinkets that have blades in them, only like weapon trinkets, only magical artifact trinkets, stuff like that, only support trinkets, I sort of already did that challenge, but yeah, things like that, do you think that would be cool to watch, is that something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know if there's something else, some other cool ideas, you're like, oh, this would be so cool if you did this, let me know, anyways, we're on to the ZMG, this is going very quick, let's activate our shatter clone and demolish it, I kind of love the spray projectiles, you can see just like 10... 10 stakes flying through. Okay, so the ZMG didn't pop. I'm a little scared. We're gonna have one of the abilities up. We're gonna have the Sabotage, but not the Shadow Clone up. So I'm gonna use the Sabotage, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to sell. Here's the BFB. Are we good? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Shadow Clone. That was close. If I didn't do that Shadow Clone, you saw there. Psy was out of range of those ceramics. Shadow Clone got one strike in. If I didn't do that, we would have lost. That was a little close, but we turned out pretty good. That worked really well. Okay, so we got- Oh, Cosmic Essence. That's really nice. Are you gonna let me double it? Okay, I'm gonna double it because it's Cosmic Essence. Come on. Okay, there we go. Six Cosmic Essence and 12 gems. It's super incredible. Incredible. That's pretty awesome. Cosmic Essence is really good. I'm gonna take one more look to see how close we are to some characters. I also think I have a quest done now. Do I have a quest? We do finally now have the final map unlocked. If we do this on extreme mode, we'll get our second Lady Unicorn. Not that useful, but pretty cool. Ooh, Lady's House. It's a farm. I can have some good challenge ideas for that for a farm. That could be cool. That's also the first map I did my, um, the first Attack of the Clones on. I remember that. It's a little crazy. It's been so long. I don't think I did a video for it. I think that was before I was doing videos. So that gives you a bit of an idea of how long ago it was. But it was a lot of fun. It was like when I first started the game. And I took full advantage of Phoenix Wand, because who wouldn't take full advantage of Phoenix Wand? How did I not get that? That was extreme without max. I did not use- oh, I- Can you believe that? The one tower I used to test the upgrades was max. The one tower I did need- I needed not to use. Whatever. Captain Cassie, I'm clearly not using you anytime soon. Let's do extreme without Finn. Maybe next time I'll test upgrades using Finn. Whatever, at least we finally won a map, that means we can actually open some of these. Did we get more Cosmic Essence? Man, our luck is great today. Cosmic Essence is rare. I think it's like a- I'm pretty sure it has like half the chance of any other item. 1500 Vigo Balloons. These challenges are being very good. I say this every time I open challenges, I've said it a lot recently, but it's a really common theme. Not as much anymore, thankfully. Maybe it's because I've answered it so many times. But people constantly ask, how do you level up characters? What do you recommend for progress? Gems, gold, shards, whatever. How do you get this, this, this? Quests. Quests are really good. None of these are that good, though. Sometimes they're not great, but you get to recharge them daily. Uh, they do require a fairly high level. You get your first quest pretty early on, but to get all five slots, you need to be level 50. So it does take a little while, so don't expect it to be too quickly. But sometimes you get chains, like with this wish quest. 
always do the wish request. It's really easy. It's a really good one. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else was I going to say? One more thing. If you are going to leave game suggestions, because I am open to it, game suggestions. Uh, obviously, more people say it. If it gets more likes or whatever, I'm more likely to do it. But with game suggestions, depending on the game, because I've seen this a lot of people recommend games. What do you actually want to see me do in the game? Because there are different games, and sometimes it's just, okay, just play the game generally. That's fine. But a lot of games, you want some specific thing to do, like... I know I'm not necessarily saying I will or will not do it, but a lot of people have been recommending Roblox. Sure, that's sounding tempting, but the thing is, is there a certain game you want me to play in it? Because Roblox is definitely a game where you can't just say, play Roblox, you sort of need something in mind. So, if you're going to be recommending games like that, maybe give some ideas on what to do in the game. Because that is a tempting one. If you are interested to see Roblox, let me know. Because it is becoming more and more tempting. I think I have four people recommending it so far. If I get one or two more people, I'll probably do it. So yeah, let me know. But if you are going to recommend it, maybe actually give an idea on what games to play. I don't want to go in and just pick something random. Because that wouldn't necessarily be that fun. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Once again, give the video a like if you enjoyed. And subscribe to join the Pop Off and Squad. Thank you for staying till the end. It's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!